winning product has to solve a problem and you know you have mentioned uh ad fraud uh like how bad actually is ad fraud so ad fraud like globally is is a huge problem and i mean i always sort of uh, we talk about like dollars a lot and, and the uh-huh. dollar value of what it costs and you know it's an, uh, it's an 80 billion dollar problem worldwide at the wow. moment and they think that it's going to be a hundred billion dollar problem worldwide by 2025 so you know in a couple of years um but I actually, you know, the more that, that we think about it and the more that we talk about um, ad fraud and, and the more of these AMAs that I do, um, I think more and more, you know, that that dollar amount is felt by companies and it's felt by advertisers and consumers. Why should they really care? And it is hard to care about, let's say, a huge um brand losing money you know as long as you think well it's not affecting my pocket why should we care well there is an element of that but unfortunately ad fraud sort of has repercussions not only across the web for the user experience but also worldwide and in terms of like real people's lives and and the impact that it has um, on global economies so it's one of the biggest types of fraud worldwide it's double um, payment card fraud so you know i'm sure there's plenty of people oh, yeah. on this on this space that have had their payment details stolen online and fraud costs double that um at a very basic level you know if if these brands and these advertisers are getting uh ripped off essentially by fraud they're going to pass those costs on to the consumer so we'll see more expensive consumer items obviously as we all know right now there's a cost of living crisis um, and that bottom line is also being felt by brands and, and suppliers. So if they're losing a lot of money on ads, they're simply going to push the price of their product up um, to yeah. save that money. But unfortunately, there's a, a much darker side to um, to advertising fraud that is sort of, um, I would say, I would say the issue is somewhat avoided by the industry um, because no one wants to admit that they're, you know, inadvertently funding these sorts of activities and no one you know advertisers don't fund ad campaigns with, uh, knowingly uh, like knowing that that the money is going to be stolen by fraudsters and channeled into to other things so some of these um you know illicit activities and we've spoken about this a lot but um it really is like getting worse across the industry um so these fraudsters they're not uh you know we we think when when we think of hackers and like uh people doing criminality online we probably all have uh, an image of like one guy sitting behind a computer you know in a hoodie, um, yeah, a hoodie that typical yeah that typical hacker or like anonymous but actually organized crime groups uh, worldwide have realized that advertising fraud is incredibly lucrative and when we say worldwide this is particularly in countries where um advertising fraud is not cracked down upon or not really frowned upon um by the governments of those countries so let's take for instance you're a um you're a would-be advertising fraudster in the uk we have really really clear framework and, and legal framework um, that if you were doing that and you were stealing money from brands, you would be arrested and you would be prosecuted. Um, it happened. It hasn't happened that often, even in Western countries, simply because it's difficult to track, um, but also because the incentive isn't there. But in some countries, and specifically now, we're, we're basically talking about um, Russia, China, North Korea. It'll be almost state-sanctioned ad fraud. So the governments of these countries you know because ad fraud um you know requires a lot of computing power because they run a lot of botnets um and they run you know tons of bots that basically they create fake websites or they'll spoof a real website and pretend to be that website and then they drive loads of bot traffic to it so they need a lot of computing infrastructure and the governments of these countries will say look we know that you're making a lot of money of ad fraud and it's it's uh, criminal and it's illegal however we're going to turn a blind eye to that if you'll allow us to use your computing infrastructure to run a ddos attack against a major western bank and that's what happens in a lot okay. of these cases they will use the computing power of these um of these criminal groups 
um, to run, yeah, basically sophisticated cyber attacks. Um, and in turn, in, in, you know, in return for that, they won't prosecute them and they won't go after them for, for perpetrating ad fraud. And these criminal groups, as I say, they're not like a guy in a hoodie. They're not your typical hacker or like anonymous just sitting behind a, like one guy behind a computer. They are serious organized crime groups and um, the money that they make from ad fraud rivals narcotics trade. And they use this to fund all sorts of other activities such as uh, you know, human trafficking and, and arms deals and, you know, drugs and all of these sorts of things. So, you know, to bring that back to your question of why it's such a big issue, although it seems like it's only brands losing money, it's actually impacting a lot of people's lives. Um, and it even has impacts on things that are going on right now in the world, like, uh, you know, the, the um, war that's happening in Ukraine and, you know, various conflicts and, and interests around the world. You know, foreign adversaries, as we would call them in the West, are using computing power of, of uh, advertising fraudsters to commit, um, you know, basically cyber attacks against Western infrastructure and all this sort of thing. So it's a really huge problem. And the only way that it can be stopped is if we, um, and I say we directly, you know, as a, as a company like Veracity, who is making a transparency solution through Veriviews, the only way we can stop it is if we make it um, too hard to make money from ad fraud. So it's very hard for governments to crack down on ad fraud because it's very hard to track. Uh, it's also very hard to prove who's doing it. So the only way really is to give advertisers and publishers the tools that let them prevent and discount bot fraud and fraudulent traffic from their advertising campaigns so when we remove the financial element from this and when people stop getting paid for fraudulent traffic obviously these organized crime groups are not going to make money anymore so we'll effectively prevent and, and stop ad fraud